What's up, guys? So I finally got something that I always wanted, but couldn't really justify it, which are these Girodis two-piece rotors and brake pads. And this is pretty sick because it loses weight and it gets rid of this disgusting holes on the stock rotors, which I actually prefer um, slotted or even blank rotors compared to drilled rotors. And I'll talk to you about the differences and the benefits, but first of all, let's unbox this. And I already opened it, but I haven't looked at it yet, so let's see. Yeah, I don't know if there's a lot of people who run this already, but you know. <sighs> Look how sick this is. Oh man. Let me get out of the box first. So this is the information right here. Made in the USA. God damn. Got a little instructions, stickers, and before installing product information. Really sick. And look at this. This is the crown jewel. This is the front rotor. Um, same size as the OEM one. I think it's 356 millimeters. But yeah, it's a two piece rotor. Feels heavy, but I'm pretty sure the stock one's even heavier. But yeah, how sick this is. Drilled and the veins are directional. So this one I believe is gonna be on the left side because the, the, the slots are right here and the veins curve to the left right now. So yeah, uh, make sure you don't do it the wrong way. But anyways, um, the slotted rotors, so currently the brake pads nowadays, um, the technology is so good that you don't have to worry about gas getting trapped in it. And the drilled rotors, you're pretty much gonna be prone to cracking and you lose kind of thermal mass with it as well. Which um, a lot of track people, you'll never see them run it. They either run slotted or pretty much a blank disc. And all the race cars run slotted, like J hooks or just these cuts. So yeah, um, let me open the other ones and we'll get to the brake pads. All right, so before we get to the pads, I um, just wanna show you the rears. They even say it right here, left rear. So make sure you do that. This is the left front. Um, let me try to open this first. Let's see what the rear ones look like. Pretty much the same, but the, the bell housing right here, it has a little concave for the parking brake, which um, I'll talk to you when I uh, show the brakes, uh, the brake pads. But this one, it has to utilize a bit smaller pad than the OEM one because of the hardware for the two piece. If this was a single piece, um, it would have more meat. So but that's why um, Jordis had to look cut a little bit on the brake pads just to fit these two piece rotors in the rear. But yeah, fairly light and directional as well, which is pretty cool. And they have instructions again. So let's open the brake pads. Okay, brake pads. So the brake pads I went with is their magic pads. Um, I originally wanted to go with their street and track, I believe, but that's not in stock. Pretty much everything is not in stock anymore. So I didn't want to wait. And plus, even though there are other pad options out there, the thing is I can't run them without modifying the rear pads because of what I said about the two piece rotors in the rear. Um, they don't clear, so I'll show, um, you can see videos of comparisons where the rear pads, they can't clear the two-piece rotor hardware. The fronts are perfect, you could run any pad you want, but the rears, um, you could run either, any pad you want, but you have to kind of cut through it, which the amount you cut is not that much, but it's still, you gotta cut it and it won't fit. Uh, standard pad that fits the OEM brake rotors. So, here's the pad. You can see I had to cut a little bit right there to clear the rotor. Yeah, these are just their standard magic pads, less brake dust and good initial bite. Um, hopefully these bed in pretty good. And you know, I feel like these are already broken in already, but we'll see. 
Usually the pads are much like thicker, but hmm, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see the fronts. Like I said, the fronts are the same size as the OEM ones, so you don't gotta worry about using meat up front. Yeah, the fronts are exactly the same as the OEM one. Doesn't really need to cut anything. So let's see, look. The fronts match perfectly like that. And the rears, let me get one rear pad. You see it has to clear the hardware, which the OEM one, it kind of cuts into it and you have to kind of drill it. You could wear, wear down the pad and then it'll work, but that's really unsafe. So yeah, that's pretty much an unboxing. Um, pretty expensive. The original price I think was 800 or 850 for um, a set of rotors, but now they bump up to 950 because you know inflation. And the pads, the fronts are 130 and the rears are 150. So almost 3,000 for uh, this two piece setup. Worth it. Um, I'm pretty sure you won't feel the difference when you drive, but the cooling effects of this one is much better than the stock one. And it'll dissipate much heat much better because of the curved veins. I think the stock one is just either straight or they're not even directional. So yeah, and I finally can get rid of those ugly drill rotors. It's like the worst look. I don't know why OEM does it. People think it looks good, but the performance is not even that good either. And plus, um, new brake pads are so good right now, like, they don't have to worry about gas getting stuck in it. And the slotted rollers give a better initial bite, which is what everyone wants. They don't want no mushy brakes. And I also um, installed stainless steel brake lines. Um, I had a terrible nightmare with it, installing it and trying to bleed it. But I'll show a video because I finally uh, figured out how to do it. And it only took me like five tries to bleed it. And I've done it correctly. I have a motor bleeder as well. I'll explain it next time. But now that I finally got it, I'm going to bleed it once again. But I used the factory um, brake fluid because it's pretty cheap. But now I'm going to switch to the Moto RBF 600. This is a dot four. The factory one is a dot three. And yeah, hopefully this will make my brakes really good because it's currently my brakes, the disc are, has a huge lip on the inner and outer and the rotors are all grooved. I switched the front pads to a EBC yellow stuff, but the rears were not in stock, of course. So I only ran the front, very good, but the rotors are, were not in good condition and it kinda, it didn't make the pad feel as good as it could have been. But hopefully these um, Joe Dix ones work. And I'm really excited to see this because this is a really good product initially but yeah i'll see you back later and um, i want to do an install video today so hopefully you guys can see that video and if you guys want to purchase this um i'll show you my thoughts and if it's worth it or not so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you are driving your dream car <laughs>